Yes! Uh. Yes, he's still on. Heck yeah. Alright folks, for today's video, I am fishing the High Octane Team Tournament. I'm going to keep this intro short and sweet. It's a five-state tournament. You might recognize where I am. If you do, keep it to yourself. I don't post the names and locations on my channel for a reason. But you'll see how the day unfolds. Conditions were a bit rough. Blue skies, mostly sunny. But in the afternoon, we did find one brief period of overcast skies. You'll see what happens. Let's go fishing. Folks, we got about three minutes till line's in. I'm not gonna lie, it's torture sitting here though. There's a lot of fish moving, a lot of fish moving. Hopefully some of them are snakehead. There's a lot of shad and carp in here. Whew, let's make it happen. Snake. That was a snake. That was a big snake too. Yeah, that's the first movement that I've seen that really looks like a snake. Unless that's a carp's tail. That could be a carp's tail. Fudge muffin. These carp are in here much worse today. Much worse. It's not good. Not good. If you're new to snakehead fishing, I'll give you a quick tip. Generally speaking, if the carp are in the area and they're rolling, making a lot of commotion, the snakehead are not going to be on the bite. They may not even be in the area. But as a general rule, if there's a bunch of carp in the area, find the new area. Because those carp spooked the heck out of the freaking snakehead. These shad and carp are way worse this time. Last time I was here, they weren't nearly this bad. Fish on, fish on, oh crap, nice bass, okay, nice bass. There we go, all right, well hey, at least the skunk's out of the boat. Something is wrong with my external battery for my rear facing 360, so unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to get those shots for you. But what I will do is get this little bass here checked in. Not that he's that little, he's probably about 15 and a half, pushing 16. You just ain't gonna close your mouth, huh? Close your mouth, bro. Shut, shut, your, shut your mouth. Close your mouth, there you go. Lay your tail down. There she is, folks, first fish of the day. 15 inch largie on the buzz bait, American Snakehead Custom. Let's get back to it. Hey, what's up, bro? Got anything going on over there? Nope. No, I had uh, one half-hearted hit on a buzz bait probably about an hour ago. Just, I'm moving around trying to test different kinds of waters and seeing what's up. So the bite is still epically slow. Ooh. There's a fish right there. But I did get bit a second ago. Now, I think it was a bass again, unfortunately, but... It's nice to get bit. Man, those hits have been few and far between today. Mostly because of those gosh darn carp. Look at this carp. Holy crap. That was a giant carp. Those fat things are in here just screwing up the snakehead fishing. God, they drive me crazy. Look, you can see him jumping for us about as far as the eye can see. That's a snake. That's a snake. If I can land it, it's a snake. 
I think it's a good fish too. Not a giant, but a good fish. Okay, where's my net? Keeping him up. Keeping him up. Oh, solid fish. Solid fish. All right. We might be able to get on the board today, folks. Holy crap. What a freaking grind. There we are. Solid fish. Very solid fish. All right, I am going to have to unhook her. Otherwise, the frog will be in the way. Now, I'm trying to call Jared to let him know I've had two hits recently. But I can't because the reception here is that bad. I mean, it's terrible. All right, locked out. Let's see. She will come in at about 24. Not bad. Ah, this is ridiculous. I can't even open my groups to submit this catch. Okay, I'll have to do it later. Let me just double check the photo. Flush. Tag. Okay. There you go. Finally got one in the boat. Solid fish. Beautiful. 24 inches. Getting back to it. Oh, oh, oh. Give me my grips. He's still here. You see? You see? That's why you put a float on, y'all. Although, I might not be able to get it now because the damn grass is going to keep my float down. You're going to need a bigger boat. Fudge muffin. That's going to put me at a bit of a disadvantage. There you are. Is that a bass? God darn it. I think that's bass number four? I don't know. That's your rascal. Come on, snakes, join the party. Got it! Got it! Ugh. I knew it was a bass, but at least I got him that time. I don't think he's an upgrade, and even if he was, I think the top of the chart right now is like 20. And he might go 15. All right, your rascal. Bass number, I don't know, five, six. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Just picked up a 29. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm on the way. It's gonna take me a minute, but I'm on the way. All right, folks, update time. Right now, it's coming up on two o'clock. Lines out at six. Actually, I actually think it's a little bit after two. Jared's been tearing them up up here. I lost my lip grippers. I'm on the way right now to get my lip grippers, or no get his second pair of lip grippers so that I have some again. But I am hauling as fast as I can because he's up here slaying. God, I hope the bite stays on. Should be there in about uh, 10 minutes. Whew, I am burning calories, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Just had a giant follow me all the way in and then he spooked because I couldn't make an effective presentation to him at that point. Uh, just a good looking stretch right here. Here's hoping. Always have that follow-up bait ready. You never know when you're going to get that short strike and got to be able to respond with a quickness. Yes! Yes! 
Yes, he's still on. Heck yeah. Ah, I lost my paddle. I lost my paddle. Crap. There's one there. Ah, that's the kind of fish we need right there. Ah. There she is, folks. Another 27 inch right there. Now I gotta get back to fishing. Time is running out. Thanks, buddy. Look at this. This one time that 360 drive is crucial. It's awfully hard to corner when you don't have a paddle. Unless uh, you have a 360 drive. Oh man. All right, we gotta catch some more fish. Quickly. Really quickly. Folks, while I was measuring that last fish, I heard a pop over here that is the largest, loudest pop I've ever heard of any snakehead in my life. Like if this fish was 20 plus pounds, it would not surprise me in the slightest. God, I wish this one would die. There he is, fish on. Oh God, I gotta try to get him out of this though. Uh, is it a bass? I think it's a bass. Yeah, it's a nice bass. Man. Again, you are not what I'm here for. God, I don't know how many bass I've caught today. Get off the hook. There you are. Thank you. Get it. Folks, we gave it our all, man. But it was not my day. Jared held down his end of the freaking bargain. It was not my day. We were at second at one point, but then we got knocked down to fourth right at the end, which, you know, it stings, but it is what it is, man. Congrats to all the teams out there who placed. I think it was Jay Diggs and Nick Vega in third, and then Mark Nicholas and Eddie Weber in second, and then Jesse James and Frank Hoover the first. Yep, top performing lure was definitely the honker, although my buzz bait had probably another six inches of water in here would have been more effective, but that grass has grown in despite the cold front we had. It was a, it was a weird day. I'm not gonna lie, it was a weird day. A tough day too. I saw a lot of people strike out on that leaderboard and it was rough. There's no two ways about it, it was rough. Had Jared not made that move kind of midstream to go explore and find those pads up there. Oof. Oh, but if I could have counted all the bass I caught, we would have been in a lot better shape too. <laughs> I landed two snakehead, I think I landed eight bass, something like that. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and have a good one.